This is the fastest and easiest way to make a lot of gold as of the latest update in Sea of Thieves. If you're new here, why not subscribe for more no-nonsense guides? And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like. First thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and raise the Order of Souls Emissary Flag. If you do not have this unlocked yet, you will need to reach level 15 in the Order of Souls before attempting this method. You are then going to want to go ahead and purchase a Storage Crate from the Merchant Alliance. This will give you a little bit of Emissary reputation to get to Grade 5 quicker. Board your ship and visit the quest table. You're going to want to go to Voyages, Order of Souls, Raid Voyages and scroll down until you see the Skeleton Fleet Voyage. You are then going to want to like this voyage to locate it quicker when you visit your quest table again. Before voting to dive on the voyage, check the horizon for birds signifying any shipwrecks around the outpost you spawn at. In Season 11, shipwrecks contain some of the most lucrative rewards and trinkets in the game, and with these items at a very high emissary grade, they are the key to making a lot of gold passively while doing other voyages and raids. After you have checked your surroundings and possibly visited a shipwreck or two, go ahead and vote to dive on the Order of Souls Skeleton Fleet. Once you emerge above the waves, you will instantly be next to a skeleton ship. In order to finish the whole event quickly as a solo, I do a couple of neat tricks which make this event so easy. I constantly throw firebombs on the top deck of the ships, preventing them from using the cannons. I turn the wheel slightly in one direction and raise the sails to half. This messes with the AI of the skeleton ship and makes them sail so that you can fire at them, but they often can't even hit you. And I constantly will shoot at the base of the ship. This is especially important on galleons to generate lower hulls, which you can protect by hitting around the same place over and over again. Make sure to stop at every ship you sink, which is marked by birds in the sky, to gather the skulls and storage crates. These all contribute to your emissary grade. On your first round, you will reach around grade 4 after finishing the event. Travel to an outpost and sell everything. Once done, dive for the voyage again. Check for more shipwrecks, and after you complete the event for a second time, you will reach grade 5. Each time you complete the event, you will receive the All-Seeing Eye of Souls. This item alone with a grade 5 emissary will net you 37,500 gold, which, if you can cycle these events roughly every 15 minutes, which you will if you practice, you will earn yourself 150,000 gold per hour. I've gotten my time down to around 7 minutes per event with the help of a larger crew, which bumps my gold per hour to 321,400 gold. This is just on the all-seeing eye and doesn't include the gold you earn from exploring shipwrecks and other skulls you gather from each skeleton ship you sink. You can also shoot out to islands along the way to check for skeleton captains and message in a bottle, which also drops incredibly high tier loot. If you're struggling with the event itself and doing them quickly, make sure to join my Discord server, which is filled with nearly 1,500 people, both new and old players, ready to jump on the seas and help you make a fortune. This event, coupled with traveling to shipwrecks and completing bottle quests from skeleton captains, is one of the most efficient and easiest ways to make gold as of the latest update in Sea of Thieves. Really quick before the end of the video i just wanted to shout out the absolutely wonderful people at apex gaming pcs they have been partnered with the channel for over a year now and they offer some of the most incredible pc builds for people who aren't sure where to start in building their own machine speaking of which i have my very own selection of pre-built pcs which are also customizable around the games that you want to play and if you use code mystique you could be saving yourself some sweet cash off of your order all the links are below the video if you enjoyed today's video make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. Subscribing. And if you're looking for more Sea of Thieves content, there is a video on your screen right now.